Capricorn, what is going on? My name is Vince. Welcome to 7D Tarot. If you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And if this message resonates, like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so Capricorn, we're going to start doing something really fun. I'm going to start answering three of your questions at the end of each video in order to get your answers, or excuse me, your questions featured. Check out the comment section. I pinned the instructions. All you have to do is ask your question with a short and sweet background keyword short and sweet and i will pull some cards and answer them for you it's probably going to take about five days for me to get ready to get everything going but i am collecting questions as of now all right so let's start your reading see what we got going on ten of pentacles talk about abundance ten of swords look at the synchronicity whoa the sun and the strength card so Hints and clues, angels and guides, synchronicities. What do we got? Two tens next to each other. Spirit saying, trade your garbage for gold. Trade your fear, trade your doubt over for confidence and you will be handsomely rewarded for it. But it does require you to, to gather up the extra strength within you to make it happen. And I do feel like there is a reward coming your way for some good deed that you did before in the past, whatever that may be. But the fact that you got the two tens next to each other right now, this is mind blowing, right? This is exactly how your guides talk to you and they're telling you to pay attention. They're giving you a warning sign, but it comes with a way out. They're telling you this is exactly all you have to do. Right now, understand that going down the same road of second guessing yourself, doubt, limiting beliefs, ego, shadows, all the stuff that all of us go through, all it's doing is making us chase our own tail. And what we're missing out on is the abundance, that 10 of pentacles energy of happiness, joy, monetizing a passion that you truly want, waking up, going somewhere, doing something, being in an environment that not only are you being compensated for it, uh, you know, generously, but also that you want to be a part, right? Like for example, I'm doing tarot reads on YouTube. Every day I connect with my angels and guides, yay. I sell pet supplements on Amazon. Every day I make dogs smile, yay, right? I love it. I'm not like, oh man, I gotta go do this. I don't wanna go do it. I used to do that and then I learned and pivoted from that energy because I gave up something. I gave up, you know, the comfort and the security of the businesses that I was doing before, but I made a calculated disc, you know, risk, excuse me, calculated risk, uh, very strategic, you know, but you gotta risk it to get some, but I gave up my limiting beliefs of security, right? Job security, and I took that leap of faith. And that's what Spirit's telling you right now. Now, easier said than done, but you do have to summon up that inner line within you, that courageous energy. Spirit's telling you right now to find that confidence, believe in yourself, build upon that, don't doubt yourself. Don't, 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 don't second guess anything. Understand that if you want something, you can make it happen. No one can tell you otherwise. No matter what, there's always a solution to a, you know, a situation. And understand that no one, nothing can prevent you. The only thing that can prevent you from finding a solution is ourself. And usually before we even start. Don't start that business, ego comes in because, pick your reason ego, you will not be successful, you don't have experience, uh, you will fail, you're no good at it, blah, 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 right? Complete nonsense. Now, your ego, my ego, the sad part is they aren't the most intellectual, uh, wisdomous, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, entities or even, even the uh, uh, characteristics, traits, whatever. And what they are are pretty, pretty, it's almost like a five-year-old child telling you what to do. Like once you really stand up to your ego and second guess it, just be like, hold up, I shouldn't do it for, what was your reason? You know, I will fail because I don't have experience. Well, a lot of people start businesses that don't have experience, they succeed. All of a sudden, you'll start noticing what it says, even though it feels scary, it doesn't have any merit. Now, Spirit is also telling you, to be in the receiving mode because you are going to be getting some sort of reward, some sort of good karma. There's something coming your way for a deed that you did. And right now for you to be in the receiving mode to be able to get it, right? And when you're in the receiving mode, you're open to the invitation of everything that comes your way. But when you're in the resisting mode, which is the last thing we want to be in, you're kind of just pushing everything away, even if it is some good karma coming your way, right? So for example, say if you did something for someone, it could have been something small. For example, it could be something as minor as just winking, smiling, smiling, saying hello, opening a door for someone, giving a compliment. Wow, you're looking great, Jim. Even if they're not looking the best, you'd be like, Jim, you're looking fantastic. So you did something. You brought a little bit of joy to them, right? Now, when you do this, what do you do? You're just raising your vibrations. Good things come your way. Now, when these good things come, you have to be in the receiving mode. You have to be uh, grateful. You have to be thankful. You don't want to push it away. For example, say if something happens, Say if someone wants to give you something, right? Say if it's a gift. Say someone gives you a gift. Now, 
when you get this gift, you know, rather than be like, wow, I'm so grateful and thankful, thank you, thank you, thank you. Imagine you're like, oh, thanks for getting me this, but I, I you know, I, I don't deserve this. Oh, it was too much. You shouldn't have done this. These words all have a vibration. And even though you're trying to be humble, saying, oh, it's all good, you know, I, I don't need this, what you're actually doing is pushing away more positivity, more abundance from coming into your life. So you gotta choose your words wisely, right? Always be grateful. Understand that there's a time to be humble, but you can always pass it forward too. And that's the vibrations we need from you. Now, Ace of Wands, Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So Spirit's definitely telling you that there's some sort of shadow there. And I see it keep creeping, creeping in, creeping in from time to time. And I see this shadow really wreaking havoc in the sense that it's taking control over. And I see the shadow is connected to someone in your past and is causing you a lot of confusion, a lot of you, a lot of doubt, and, a, 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 and you're second guessing yourself because of this. And I see the shadow interfering in the abundance that truly awaits for you. So whatever this is, it's got to get addressed, right? You got to ask yourself, why do I feel like this person betrayed me, disappointed me? Why do I feel like I'm still holding on to their energy? Why am I still associating with this energy, right? And unless you address this shadow, then you can't move on to what you're looking for, which is the abundance that's waiting for you. And I do feel like it is affecting your work life, your career life, your business life, the abundance that you're waiting to seek, it's affecting that. So why is it affecting that? Why? Resist anything, resist everything. So whoever this was before in the past, that made you feel powerless, that did something to you, that really hurts you, you have two options. Option A is to keep giving it attention like you currently are right now, or all of us do from time to time. Don't beat yourself up completely normal. We're unaware of the damage it's doing, right? What happens is that energy is very familiar. So when we think of it, dopamine gets released, endorphins get released, and even though it was a bad thing that happened, it's a familiar energy, and it's almost like a security blanket. What does that do? It really gets us addicted to fear, but it also keeps us attached to the past. What does that do? Tell spirit, I don't want more. I don't want new opportunities coming because I am happy where I am. Spirit's just like, like attracts, like law of attraction. So what do you do? Invite the energy of uncertainty. The only thing that is certain in this third dimension is uncertainty, is change. So getting, you know, even though going back to a time where someone hurt us that seems familiar, that we're comfortable with, get out of that. Go to the uncomfortable zone, which is actually good for us, right? Use that two of wands, this uh, energy, and get out of your comfort zone. Make progress. Ace of wands, new energy coming into your life. Now, this is easier said than done, but this is very achievable once your awareness shows you what what to do. Super duper easy. You just got to know what to do. And that's the energy that I'm picking up from you right now. It's like spirits telling you that it's essential to put yourself in in environments that make you almost want to, you know, run away, make you scared, but that challenge you, but will bring in the opportunities that you're looking for. So for example, maybe there's a position at work that you want to have, right? A higher, higher ranking position. But in order to get that position, you have to go back to school. But going back to school means that you're gonna have less time for chilling. It's gonna mean that you're gonna have, you have to, you know, pay for a course, means that you're gonna have to invest, you know, in a time frame that you're not gonna be able to do what it is you wanna do. So. It, it takes something from you, but again, it's going to pay back dividends, right? So it's almost like you got to ask yourself that uncomfortable feeling, you know, look at what it brings you. I'll give you another example. I go to the gym. Well, I don't go to the gym. I work out, right? When I work out, it puts me in an uncomfortable position. But what does that uncomfortable position do? Not only does it build my body, it builds my mind. It builds my will, my body and soul. Being uncomfortable is where it's at. Hence, a sauna. What does a sauna do? The heat waves, it shocks, it shocks your heat waves, right? So all of a sudden, now being in an uncomfortable position, you're improving your immune system. Cold baths, cold showers, right? You see what that does to your body? Very, 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 very uncomfortable. If you've ever taken a cold bath, oh my goodness, it is extra fun, right? But what does it do? You feel like a million bucks after. Like if you ever wanna know what it feels like to be like high in a very good way, like just be high on life, just zooming, like a runner's high times 100, take a cold plunge, right? Now, justice card, 
nine of wands, hierophant, the death card. I see a big change coming into your life and I see this happening sooner than later. I see this really being an end of a chapter for you and you are about to start a new chapter. You're about to embark on a new quest, on a new journey, and you're about to really leave old things behind that aren't helping you in life. Now, this could be someone that you're letting go of. Maybe this is a relationship you have to let go of. Maybe this is a habit, mind state, uh, ideology. Maybe this is just some food you're eating, but there's something here, a change that needs to happen that is going to happen, that is going to change your life for the better. So be uh, open to it. Remember, the more uncomfortable, the better. You know, build yourself. All right, Capricorn, I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you want to get your uh, answers, questions answered, make sure to leave your, uh, uh, ask your questions in the comment section. And I love you. Until next time, ciao.